Welcome to Next Routing Part 2. Today we are going to cover nested routes. To cover this, let's do an example by creating a navbar and when you click on link, it renders a page under the navbar. To do this, we have to create a directory called nav. And to create nested routes, we have to create a component with the same name, so nav.view. So within this nav.view component, we can create our links. So let's do a div and then do a ul, li, then create a next link. So next links is how we create uh, front-end routes in Next.js. So we need a path. So the path should be nav and maybe about page and so not about dot view about and about dot nav slash contact so we have the about link and contact link okay we have two links now what we want to do is we want to load the about page and the contact page within this parent component so let's create a div and give it a background color let's say bg 500 and use the next child element to load the component so the child component will be load through this next child special tag okay let's go over here and drag and drop this about page to within to this nav directory and also let's create a contact dot view contact dot view okay simple view component h2 contact page now if we go to nav route we should see the nav component and if i click about the about page is going to load within this nav component so here we have the bg 500 and within that div we have loaded the about component same way we can do contact oops it should be nav nav not nav nav so we'll go to about and then contact page not found contact contact okay that's weird about it works contact it doesn't okay maybe we have to restart it let's see okay did i do anything wrong contact dot view is within the nav and here we have nav contact it should work okay yeah again uh, I'm sorry about that but I can't do anything about that okay so it is working so now we know about nested routes there's something called dynamic nested route which makes this a variable or a dynamic and this dynamic I don't see much of a use case for it but you can uh, do the same thing uh, using Next.js. So again, that's the same thing you have to, when it's dynamic, you have to start with the underscore directory name and a underscore file name, just as we have done over here. We have nav directory and nav component. Okay, so again, uh, not much of a use case, uh, but you can do it. So unknown dynamic nested routes, which is the last part for this lesson, is where you can use underscore view. So any route that does not match the pages that we have will get directed to this. So if we do, uh, in this example, it's people and we can have people and it will load the people index. If you do people and parameter, it will load the underscore ID view. But if you have anything else that does not match to these three, then it will load the underscore view again this is how uh, if you do this you have to handle the phono for redirecting by yourself 
So yeah, so that's uh, nested routes. Uh, I hope you understood about uh, nested routes. It's pretty simple to do and it's very uh, useful. Uh, okay, so some more few things about if you are looking for the code that I write, it's in Utpala Nux series. I'll add the link in the description. And for each lesson, I have created a separate commit. So if you want to check out each uh, separate lesson uh, you can uh, check out that commit okay uh, that's it for this lesson uh, it's a short one uh, but i'll see you on the next one soon thank you very much for watching have a good day bye